Do you, do you ever you ever run into Elizabeth Taylor? No, because it's been too many years. You know, we we never we, we were close friends. Then when it all happened, so long ago though, it's such a snore. Who cares? Yeah. Is it a snore now? It's a snore. I think she's doing great. I think she looks great, and everybody's for a survivor. It makes us always look at someone that that gets over all of their adversities and and makes it happen for themselves. Life goes on. Yeah, but you know, she took husbands like uh, Hitler going through Poland. Don't you think? I mean. <laughs> You are really tacky, right? Um, like, no, but she's doing great. I'm, I'm proud of her, too. I just think it's nice for women to survive all the crises yeah. that they have, and men, too, but it seems like women you have You tell me more. later what you really think. You and I can talk later, sweetheart. No. Debbie and Eddie. Tough to talk about, Eddie Fisher? Oh, no, I don't think it's tough. I think it's redundant. You, it's been done, but it's been a while since we've talked about. I mean, I grew up watching what was going on with you, feeling for you, feeling that your heart was probably broken when he left you for Liz. Well, when I wrote my book, I felt that naturally that was a part of my life, so I, I had to write about that and, and tell my side of it. But I don't tell it in a bad way. I tell the truth, which is what everybody says they tell. Eddie said he told the truth. Naturally, he probably did. It, it was his version. So I just wanted to clear up what I uh, felt about that situation. It's a long time gone. I, th I admire how Elizabeth has gone on and made her life better now and she's really worked hard to, to come where she has. She's had a love of her life, uh, Richard Burton, and, and she's lost a love. I, I feel that uh, I'm more fortunate to have found like my recent husband and I'm four years married now, I'm very happily married. We'll and I wish the same Richard. for her. And then there are the this items is, with a somewhat personal connection. This is Elizabeth's from Cleopatra. You can see all the workmanship, all the detail. In fact, I spoke to her. I asked her if she had any of her things. She said, oh, Debbie, I never collected any of that stuff, but I should have. <laughs> <laughs> what Elizabeth Taylor did collect changed Debbie Reynolds' life, which brings us to Eddie Fisher. No, we didn't forget. And neither would anyone around during that time. They were, back in 1955, two of the best-known, best-loved people in show business. The screen star and the pop idol. The storybook perfect couple. I think it's a lot of fun. We share so many things, the same interests and everything, and a lot of the same friends. So it was a worldwide scandal when Eddie left Debbie for Liz Taylor after four years of marriage and two children. She got the husband at one time. At one time. And now you've got the headdress. <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor, we have a lot in common. <laughs> You'll think about it. <laughs> and then, of course, to, to the people under 40 in our audience have no memory that if you think there were big tabloid stories, there was oh, yeah. no bigger tabloid story. None. No. Than Eddie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds, Elizabeth Taylor, right? And you That's were the victim. In red. <laughs> yeah, and you ready. were the victim. How, Debbie, seriously, did you come through that? The well, woman scorned. I tell you what I think it is always, because we were young, is just that um, it's hard when you first marry, the first time, first love, and you have your children, you have your home, and no matter what arguments or something, Eddie was kind of, uh, would be moody, you know, and not talk for a few days. That always confused me, too, because my family were always more outgoing and that if you had an argument, you had an argument. You didn't go in your room and stay for five days, six mm -hmm. days, you know, and that bothered me. I really wasn't used to having relationships because I married Eddie, I was a virgin, that's the way it was in those days. You, you didn't uh, have another no. style of life, otherwise it was evil. I was a Nazarene and that was the way it was. And so when that breakup happened, uh, Eddie says, well, we were miserable for years. Well, we weren't even married for years, so I don't know how, maybe he was. <laughs> he were you totally shocked? I was uh, surprised about it because I really felt Elizabeth and I were friends, and I thought that Eddie, she needed him. My Todd died, and she needed him, and I actually sent him over there to be with her. I took the children, her children, they stayed with me, and Eddie should be with her because it was a horrible, horrible thing. You know, we all love Mike Todd. This is a great guy. Uh, oh. But coming through that. It was, it was hard when he finally said, you know, I'm, I'm in love with Liz. I'm going. I said, well, I just think you should go, but I don't think we should break up the family. Why don't we talk in a year? 
<laughs> your career is going like gangbusters at this point. Mm -hmm. The marriage isn't going so great. When well, that happened all at once. My career was, uh, was going very well, yes. But when Eddie left, then all that ridiculous publicity and all the studio jumped on that bandwagon sort of and worked me even harder. I know you've told this story a hundred times and would ask about it, but just do a, a brief recap. Mike Todd was a producer. People out there might not know Mike Todd, but he was a very fine producer, entrepreneur guy, and, uh, you know, great guy. And we ran around together. And, and, and he was uh, Eddie's best friend. He was Eddie Fisher's him. best friend. And then uh, he started dating Elizabeth, even though she was married to Michael Wilding, because that was a breakup time then for them. And she just fell madly in love with Mike Todd, who was really a charismatic guy. Oh, the women loved him. When he met Elizabeth, though, he just flipped for Elizabeth and she with him. An untimely death uh, happened, and uh, Elizabeth had just had her baby, a little girl. He was killed in an airplane. He was killed in a plane crash going to, I think it was uh, the Friars Roast in New York for somebody, and I heard the news about Mike's plane crash and no survivors, so I quickly uh, awakened Eddie, and I said, you have to go right away. So we both went to Elizabeth's house, and uh, the doctors had just gotten there, and they just told her, and she was screaming, and it was just awful. And so I said to Eddie, you should stay because I'll take the children and take them home because now the press is swarming all over her house. And it was a rental house, and it was, it was right on the street, and it wasn't protected. So I left with the nurse and the three children. I might have been two nurses at that time, and I took them home to my house, which wasn't far away. And um, Michael Wilding flew in that day, and he stayed with me, too. I had everybody in my house. And my husband was with Elizabeth and stayed with Elizabeth. <laughs> but he was great comfort to her, and I was happy for that. And then he, uh, she had to go to New York, and then he said he had to go for work. But he really went to be with Elizabeth, which I found out. And uh, realized that, that there was something going on seriously there. And, uh, of course, that's very hard, and I was... 24 I think you know and I had two children so that was a very difficult time and anyone in any uh, public life knows that when they're all over you you know the press can be without a heart you know they just want that story and they don't really care how they get it and I was very good because I would go out and hand write you know statements and things trying to keep everybody happy but they really jumped on the bandwagon all the press were very cruel and uh, it was hard and that went on because I wasn't going to give a divorce because I'm Nazarene and I really didn't believe in divorce. I believed uh, if you wanted to go, go. But I wasn't going to do a sin. And I was raised very strict of Nazarene and uh, I just thought it would be a sin f to give a divorce, to get a divorce. You know, j just not the thing to do. And uh, I thought it would be a fling and that he would probably go off for a couple of years and come back. It ended with Elizabeth in two years, but he didn't come back to me. But I didn't want him by then back <laughs> because life goes on and you do change yourself and you don't really forgive being hurt that much. So that whole thing ended. He went off with Elizabeth and then she, they, they were very happy together until she met Richard Burton. Yeah, they were doing Cleopatra. I only know this story because um, I met them much later. I met Richard and Elizabeth after they were together, and she had uh, sent Mr. Fisher packing. Were you and Elizabeth Taylor friends before all this Eddie debacle? <laughs> what a way to put it. Um, we went to a school together on the lot at Metro. They had a little schoolhouse, and a ca Mrs. McDonald, I think it was, and uh, she and I were the only students, Elizabeth and I. And then when uh, I married Eddie, and because Elizabeth was with Mike Todd, we, we became closer then. And when she married Mike, I was her matron of honor down in Acapulco. I washed her hair, I set her hair, and got her all dressed for her wedding. Little did I know what the future was going to be. And uh, I really liked Elizabeth, you know? And I, I, um, I liked being with the four of us, had a lot of fun together at that time. So what came about is, comes about in life, and now it's long in the past, but that's sort of how all that started. But I like Elizabeth. She's, she's changed a lot, and she works very hard now for AIDS, and she's, she has a, a different attitude. After all, she has survived death uh, six or seven times, so God wanted her to stay, perhaps just to do this wonderful work. You worked with Liz Taylor. And, uh, Elizabeth? 
building to this place. And in these old bras. And I know you actually knew her before certain things happened. Oh, I did. Well, Elizabeth and I attended school at MGM, and we know each other since we were 17. So, I mean, I gave her my husband. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I'm interested How to know. How close can you get? <laughs> <laughs> and um, when all that happened, that's been understood. And she's, uh, you know, she, she and I have gotten together about all that now. And of course, she regrets that particular decision because at the time she needed uh, comforting. And actually, Elizabeth is a great girl. And I see her all the time. I go over and we visit because she's a great girl. Uh, when I came here to San Francisco, I don't know what year, but you know, I was at the first AIDS benefit in San Francisco, and uh, Elizabeth followed. It's the first time she <laughs> hasn't stolen one of my husband's. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's doing a great job. I'm very proud of her. So, you know. Quite a scandal, though, when he ran off with what was, I suppose, one of the world's best-known actresses at the time, Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, Elizabeth. Well, we went to school together at the MGM lot. We were good friends, and she was the most beautiful woman in the world. I certainly wasn't, and the most sexual woman in the world. I certainly wasn't. Well, I think you said. It. I think you said about all this. You could see why Eddie Fisher wanted her, but why would Elizabeth Taylor want Eddie Fisher? I, what do you mean by that? What was wrong well, with Eddie She wonders too now. <laughs> but of course she found that out, you know, right afterwards. Well, I told Eddie, I said, you know what's going to happen is that in a year and a half, she's going to realize that you're really just nothing and she's going to throw you out. So that's what happened. She did Cleopatra, she met Richard Burton, and he was out. A year public, and a half. Public Boom. scrutiny, though, when that story broke, must have been unbearable. I think at one stage you said it's bad enough when a man walks out on you, but to have millions of people watching, the fact the public took it as an absolute affront to them, that was unbelievable. This was very much being played out in the public gaze, wasn't it? Well, isn't everything in show business? Everything's out in the public eye. A carrier was talking to me one day. She said, the mother is sort of like Brad and Angelina Jolina and, and uh, Jennifer Aniston today. You and Eddie and Elizabeth, it was sort of the similar story. But I, you know, I always make a joke of it. I say, well, Elizabeth went down the Nile. Mm -hmm. Debbie, so nice to hear from you and have you here Thank today. You. Because, you know, you and Elizabeth had a, a most interesting relationship. It was, a, it was a, quite a past that you had. So what was your reaction to the news today? Well, we've had a great friendship all through the years. And if it can survive uh, a, a marriage breaking up and, uh, you know, all this kind of scandal like that, why then you know we really were friends, girlfriends. Well, I was... Uh, of course, sad uh, to hear about Elizabeth's passing, but I just talked to her two weeks ago, and it uh, might, might have been three, but, you know, she was not doing well, and she was really in a lot of pain, so it was a blessing in disguise, shall we say, that she could go on to a better place and be out of misery. Yes. So tell me, what do you think it was that made Elizabeth such an icon? Because people are very, very responsive to, uh, to her today. Well, she's very, you know, she's beautiful. First of all, she's, you know, she was the most glamorous and sexual star of our generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, no one could equal Elizabeth's beauty. And the women liked her and the men adored her. I know because my husband left for her. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you take it so lightly now, you know, because I remember when that happened, boy, that was quite the scandal and nothing to, to rival it these days. <laughs> well, you know? I, well, I don't know, Brad, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolina is sort of the generation of today for that same sort of a scandal. But, uh, uh, well, it was very hard at the time, but, you know, Elizabeth and I, over the years, have gotten all past that, and uh, you know, she she did a really nice, uh, shall we say, uh, creation with her life. You know, she went on to work very hard for AIDS and and become That's very right. charitable, and uh, get off the path of of men hunting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you know, I was around when that whole brouhaha happened in those days. I remember the whole thing between you and sure, Elizabeth. Sure, you've been around through everything. I have. It's true. And, <laughs> um, and Eddie Fisher, who passed away recently, for those of you out there who don't know the story, Debbie was married to Eddie Fisher. Elizabeth uh, lost her husband, Mike Todd, at the time. She was a grieving widow. She moved in with Eddie, and Eddie left Debbie for Elizabeth. That's basically what happened, right, Debbie? Yes, well, I would say that Eddie moved in with Elizabeth, and uh, th that uh, took precedence over her loneliness, you know, and he was Mike Todd's best friend. So actually, Elizabeth just uh, re thought she was replacing Eddie with Mike Todd, but of course, he could never be Mike Todd, no. so it didn't last. When she met Richard Burton, she tossed him out. <laughs> <laughs> she did. You know, the, the question keeps coming up in my mind. Who was the husband that she loved the most? Do you think it was uh, Mike Todd or was it Richard Burton? Well, I would say it would really be a fist fight because equal. I think finally that Burton would win because of his brilliance and in, intellectual and he could quote poetry and he was just so colorful whereas Mike Todd was more of an entrepreneur you know he yeah. was a producer so uh, finally Burton's uh, mind would have won out over b besides his uh, maleness. <laughs> There's always the um, the rumors that they f she fought with both of them in these kind of like Virginia Wolf type of fights. Oh, fought with yeah. them? Oh, my stars. Oh, it's really something. She was in my house one night and having dinner with Mike Todd and he hauled off and slugged her mm. and knocked her out of the chair and I wow. almost uh, fainted. I never saw that in my whole life. And so I ordered him out of the house. <laughs> did you? I certainly did. And so she said, Debbie, we're just playing. I said, well, that hurt me. I don't know. But you, <laughs> I think you both need to go somewhere that's somewhere else and slug it out. See, that's, that's interesting because in, if that happened today, it would be really uh, even more scandalous. It's interesting because we look back, uh, the whole affair with, with uh, Eddie Fisher, et cetera, was a scandal. But the hitting of the of a woman was sort of under wraps in those days. That's interesting because that would have been a big deal now well, if it came out. Well, she clobbered him back. She got him back. She <laughs> clobbered him back. I mean, she did get yeah. him back. I don't think they ever got a away with it. You know, I've seen that happen a few times. I was in the south of France with them once, and she got upset with Mike and uh, just slapped him, but it's not really, it's just a slug, you know? Yeah, she slugged and then, him. Uh -huh. And then they run upstairs and jump in bed, or just in the pool and do it there, too. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, uh, they, <laughs> they had a good time. More now on the life and legacy of Elizabeth Taylor. Actress Debbie Reynolds called KCAL earlier today to share her memories and discuss the stormy relationship the two had after husband Eddie Fisher left her for Taylor. Here's an extended portion of that call. Well, I felt very sad, but I also knew Elizabeth was very, very ill and she was in a lot of pain. So in a way, you know, it was a blessing because now she can be peaceful and not so miserable. Elizabeth and I were estranged for probably four or five years, but then after uh, I remarried and Eddie remarried, uh, she remarried, she threw him out. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt uh, happy when she threw him out. I thought I felt better about it, and um, so it, life goes on. And you know, she went on to Richard Burton, and they had a wonderful time together. A wonderful. A wild time to life together and a great love together. So uh, life goes on. No, she was just bawdy, you know what I mean? She was rowdy, you know, in the sense of outspoken. And she uh, she had a, a mouth, you know, that uh, she could keep up with a longshoreman. And, uh, <laughs> you know, she was fun to be with. And the men loved it. And she was really fun, to fun girl. And she um, enjoyed her life. It's just that Elizabeth uh, came at a time when movies were really very popular and the public attended the movies, uh, you know, movies were, there was no television, so of course movies were the hot spot, you know, the hot thing to go to. And she said though, that getting old is really, it's really tough, and she said, well, I'm... I'm battling it through, but it's really hard. And so we just chatted about how 
hard it was to get through it, you know, when you're miserable. And, you know, she couldn't walk, and she had 24-hour care all the way around the clock. And it was very difficult for her because she was so active in all of her life. And then uh, to wind up in in this position. She had a wonderful life. She gave a lot. She was a great star. She was a great beauty, one of our great glamorous queens. She will go down in history and hold her very high place like uh, uh, Marilyn Monroe or like Hedy Lamar or like Ava Gardner, one of our great beauties. Hollywood scandal of the 50s when her husband Eddie Fisher left her for Elizabeth Taylor. He did? He did, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't last. But Debbie and Liz's relationship survived right up until her death. She's here to share her story as well as some incredible Hollywood history. You soon will be able to own yourselves. Please welcome Debbie Reynolds. She <laughs> would be yourself, baby. It took for Debbie to collect all of this, and this, you know, this, it, she had the museum, she had everything, and and I know we're going to get to it we're later. We're going to get to that in a second, yeah, but, but first we'll we have to about talk Elizabeth. about Elizabeth Bailey because yeah. she just passed away recently. Okay, so whatever you want to do, it's okay with me. Okay, well the younger generation may not know the whole story. No, they shouldn't. So do, why don't you tell them what happened? <laughs> well, I don't know. What, what do you want to know? Well, let's see. You were married to Eddie Fisher, <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> <laughs> who has recently passed, also. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and Elizabeth Taylor was married to Mike Todd, the great impresario. Impresario, what do you right. call him? Uh, a singer, showman. Okay. Yes, showman. And um, and then Mike Todd died in a plane crash, yeah. and uh, Debbie's husband Elizabeth, I mean uh, Eddie Fisher, uh, took up with Elizabeth, yes. and, <laughs> and and dumped poor Debbie and married Elizabeth. Well, and, and go, so now take it from there. These things happen. You know, <laughs> best friends should stick together. <laughs> Well, Elizabeth and I went to school together at MGM Studios. I was 17, she was 17. And then uh, through the years, uh, I met Eddie Fisher and uh, married Eddie. And we were young and fell in love, and he was really cute. He was very cute. He, he was, was a cute. Coke time. And uh, anyway, she saw Elizabeth, uh, he saw Elizabeth Eddie after he married me, and he thought she was really cute. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can't married. you can't make a man leave a woman unless he wants to go. Mm -hmm. so okay. Don't, can't. Be okay. I, don't I tell you? Yes, I'm telling you. Well, you know yeah. that is that song, "Leave Him Alone." He's a family man. Do you ever hear that song? Well, that's the other side of this. Doesn't mean well, anything. Well, if he's unhappy, yeah. if he, no, no, that was up to, uh, <laughs> to Eddie. It's up to her. Oh, it's, yeah, Eddie. it's up to Eddie where he wanted to go, or it's up to every man where he wants to be. But now you spoke to her two yeah. weeks before she passed, uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Well, that was, she's been very sick, you know. For her. we're all happy that she's in a better place now. Yeah. She was ill because yeah, she was yeah. so ill. And uh, I mean, really, really sick for six years more, and so it was far better that she go to a better place and not have any more pain. Exactly. Because right. uh, you know, if you love somebody, if you care for somebody, you want them to be well and not be unhappy. She loved life, and Elizabeth loved life, and I know because she <laughs> took part of mine. And, uh, <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't true, Was this? <laughs> I'm completely over it. There's a, no, but there's, Stuff to this story. That's, no, yes. no, no. If you're, I just, you know, you have to f forget it. You have to forgive it. Yeah. And but then it doesn't mean you forget it. But you forget. did. You, the two of you were on we what is the Queen Elizabeth ship. We and, absolutely. We and were. you, years after this happened, forgave her on this boat, correct? Well, I was, I was going on a boat with my second husband. I decided I'd marry again somebody older and somebody very rich. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a good idea. He stole 20 million. Yeah. So it um, doesn't always work out. <laughs> so we got on this, uh, we were uh, on this ship, and it was the Princess Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth, Queen right. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I see all oh, this luggage go by, Vuitton, 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 Vuitton. I said, who's the Vuitton luggage? And they said, that's Elizabeth. I said, the Queen is on the plane. <laughs> on the ship? <laughs> on the ship. And they said, no, it's Elizabeth Taylor. And I said, so I was started to dive off. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't know we hadn't seen each other yet, yeah, you know. Yeah. So it was a sort of a, uh, I didn't know really what to say to her. Uh, I really didn't know what to say to her at, the, at that time. I mean, even though it came to me, because these things do come to you. When it's over, it's over. Mm -hmm. And so 
Uh, that night, I said, this is dumb. I said to my husband, who was really a lovely, lovely man, even though he, he, he lost the money. <laughs> well, he didn't really steal it. He just took it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm so dumb, I give it to them. <laughs> Drop by. Anybody. <laughs> so, so, you're so, on this boat. What do you so, do? Uh, Elizabeth sent me a note, and I sent her a note. And it so happened we were on the same floor. And she had all her birds with her chi right. and her chickens right. and her. Uh, she she had all kinds of pets. Did she say she was sorry? Uh, in the in the letter, of course. She, well, she didn't say that in the, in the letter. We said that much later. You know, it's just silly. Let's get this over with because we have wow. people hiding behind bushes yeah, taking pictures. Right. You know, the paparazzi, the sure. the cuckoo, yes. they they go nuts. They have, yeah. She was done with Eddie by then, anyway, right? She was on to Richard Burton. Using, using the word done is right. Yeah. 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 And she so was truly, done. when you guys said, "Let's get over this and be friends again," you really right. meant. I, you know, do you miss that? Yeah. Friendship. Well, I always miss a real true friendship. And when you're young girls in school and you kind of grow up together, you know, why should it be broken up by a man that yeah. doesn't really matter in the end, you know, but you don't know that in the beginning. Right. So it's kind of a contest, isn't it? Yeah. Life is uh, not a bowl of cherries. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think um, every, you're tired by now about talking about that marriage, but. Uh, yeah, I am. But, but I do have to ask you something. Did Everybody you asked me about Elizabeth and Eddie and how they got together and I'm not you know, ask that, you that sort of thing. But, but you've all read about it. It's boring. Didn't so. you tell me that he disappeared right after you got married and that you had to track him down in New York where he was playing cards with his poker buddies? No, he wasn't playing cards. He was fucking Elizabeth. Oh, no, this is... I'm talking about earlier. No. I was talking about right after you got married, you thought you were going to go to on a honeymoon, and he was off playing cards with Al Jolson. You don't remember that story? Okay, it doesn't matter.